Good morning, everybody. So, in today's video, I'm gonna ask you, what does Newton's third law have to do with real estate? Well, a lot. So, object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force, right? Everyone's learned that in high school physics or what have you. Now, what does that have to do with the post-COVID era? Uh, so, going forward, we've seen a lot of things. We've seen uh, a lot of businesses that crumbled because of uh, being closed down. What we've also seen is we've seen a lot of opportunities popping up from the COVID era. It's just something that, that happens, you know, business owners, they, they um, reposition, they pivot, they do lots of things in order to survive. Um, so how does this pertain to commercial real estate brokerage? Whenever I look at anything, I always look at two, two situations. If I look at a headline, right, I look at what does this mean and how can I position myself as a broker to be able to help others and, and in turn benefit from the situation, right? So what I would do is I would advise people. Uh, I was reaching out to, to a, a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Gordon, and he had asked me, you know, what does it look like for commercial real estate going forward? What, what, do, what do you do? And then that's an interesting question. It's a two-sided question. So what you have is on the tenant side, you know, objects in motion tend to stay in motion. So if, if a building has tenants moving out, if, 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 uh, if tenants are, are leaving, there's a certain momentum and landlords get scared. I was managing office parks uh, last time during the 2008 um, uh, uh, period where we had a downturn and, and there was a lot of momentum. You know, the pendulum was swinging one way. So while that pendulum is swinging, while that momentum is occurring, that's the time to renegotiate with your landlord. Landlords crave stability. They want to know that the income stream that they have for their particular property is going to continue into the future. So what I would recommend is do what's called a blend and extend. So let's say for argument's sake, you're spending $15 a foot triple net for a space that you're occupying. What I would say to the landlord is say, listen, you know, I, I, I only have a year left on my lease, let's say. How about we knock that down to $14 a foot, but I'll sign on for an additional two years. So you're not going to lose me as a tenant, but what I'll do is I'll help you out by making sure that, that you have stability. So you're trading this for that, okay? On the landlord side, uh, if I was, let's say, in, in the retail sector, what I would recommend is looking at, you know, maybe you had a, a certain tenant mix previously, and uh, maybe it, it was doing well until now, and now you're not sure what the, um, what the, future holds, what, what, how things are going to be able to open up in your city. So what, what I would recommend is start looking into the zoning code and seeing all of the intended uses. In fact, what I, I would go as far as to say, start thinking about what businesses are starting to pop up as an, uh, that are potential opportunities from, from the COVID and, and see if you can position yourself as the place to go. So for instance, um, let's say we had a, a large push in the last years. Um, this is outside of COVID, but a lot of industrial spaces or, uh, and retail spaces were being repositioned and used as gyms, you know? Um, they, you know, Toys R Us moves out, they have 25,000 square feet. Well, guess what? Maybe LA Fitness moves in. So at the same time, if you're a retail owner in, in today's day and age, maybe you find a business that's starting to pop up in your area. I don't know whether it's a, a small yoga studio. I don't know if it's uh, a day trading, whatever it could be, you know, whatever, whatever kind of trends you can find in your localized area. Because mind you, it's going to be localized. It might be something that happens. Maybe you're near a ski resort and there's a, a, a new technology coming out. Maybe it's you're, you live near a, a college or university and there's something that's popping up as a result. Only you will know what that is because it's gonna to pertain to your certain area. So these are things that you can do in terms of you know, improvising, adapting, overcoming what's happened, okay? And then try to get ahead of it and see around the corner. That's my opinion of how things are gonna go forward with COVID. It's, we're not gonna get back to the same. We're gonna have a new normal. And the thing is the people that are going to benefit the most from it, tenants and landlords alike, are gonna be the people that adapt to change the most, the quickest and the most effectively. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help you, if you're looking to learn a bit more about commercial real estate brokerage, I'd be happy to help you. If you wanna comment below, yes, I'll reach out to you privately and I can talk, tell you about uh, how I can help grow your business, um, add additional deals to your pipeline, and, uh, and introduce you to my 16-week course called CRE Basic Training. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. Look forward to speaking with you. Bye-bye.
If you like the content you saw today, be sure to subscribe down below to my YouTube channel. I post videos like this weekly. I'll see you soon.